They'll fight Joe Harding, eight and two, representing BKK, defending his featherweight title against Johan Sagas from CFMMA. Pointed out, Sagas felt like a brother, like a brick, you know what, for yeah. 145 pounds. He came walking out, and I thought, holy cow, that kid looked bigger than I did when I was like 195. Oh, uh -oh. Eddie! Nice front cheek. Got through there. And the strength is shown off right there. He got in trouble and he was able to whip Joe around. Joe's not a weak kid, no. so he was able to throw him around. He's looking composed there as well. You know, I had taken that peek to the face and then followed up by that right. And it looked like it stunned him, but this gives him a great opportunity to clear those cobwebs out. Nice white stance by Harding and not allowing Sagas to get their hands together. This might be one of the, another one of the bullying with the takedown if necessary. So. We're back to the center. Joe is all about the excitement and the unpredictability, so this is where he likes to thrive. Johan throwing a high kick as well. Never a fan of the touch gloves and then throw a punch or a kick. Straight after. I mean, it, it's legit. It's the same thing as a ref saves the fight, so go until the ref stops you. But Starting a little chuck and dive there. A little bit showboat. The problem behind it is it looks like Johan can hit probably pretty hard. Stand in the wrong place. Bike with your hands down. Or Oh, oh, nice overhand right there, and he mugs a little bit to the audience. He mugs to the audience, but Johan just took it, just, it landed, and he just looked at him like, that's all you got? Hardy now a little bit, uh, I wouldn't say flustered, but it looks like he's getting more serious. Yeah, just not dancing around as much, not showboating as much. So that's coming again from that CFMMA team, and hard to research, hard to do. Hard to prepare for guys like this. John, he's still cleaning the cobwebs out. You can see it because he's still trying to get that footwork back down, trying to get that head movement going again. And Joe, obviously, landing that punch and having him not show anything. Now he goes back to the show. Oh, nice spin kick to eyes. Oh, we're getting a bit far. The round ends with uh, a lot of showboat. Yeah, you, um, Johan didn't bite them. No. You would have been able to hear what I was saying. So. <laughs> he doesn't want to touch gloves. Doesn't want to touch gloves. No, well, last time he touched gloves, he had a leg kick exactly. about half a second afterwards. And Johan, you can tell that the cobwebs are completely cleared now, and he's coming out, and he's throwing straight punches, nice and light on his toes, attacking. Joe's just elusive. Right? You know, one of the unpredictability parts of Joe is that he is very elusive. He doesn't take a lot of damage because it's, he's hard to hit. He's hard to get a hold of. Oh, you can't. You know, it's almost like he hypnotizes him for a second. He kind of can't believe he's doing it. And it gives him the second to get out of dodge. Yeah. I, he's thinking. I, I, I said it a few fights before. When you think in a fight, you end up losing. Don't think, just react. If he stops and puts his hands down, attack him. You've taken a few punches from him already, so you know that, okay, my chin can handle most of these punches. Oh, it's a big leg kick, and he felt that one. Yeah, because it's already bruising. You can see that the redness turned to blue almost instantly, instantly. on that leg kick. That's going to slow down his footwork. That's going to give Joe the opportunity to move around a bit more. If I'm in Joe's corner, I'm screaming at him, telling him to go to that leg again. On Johan's corner, I'm telling him to close the distance. He doesn't like that at all. No. He's chopping him down with those kicks. Well, in Johan's corner, I'm telling him to close the distance and try to get this thing to the ground. Let's see what Joe does off of his back. Right now, he's more in a counter-striking mode, 
And that's hard because Joe's able to get in and out and hit angles very quickly. It's hard to counter strike somebody if they're not there to counter strike. Left hand straight through the middle. Joe Insane's constantly moving, dancing a little bit. Hitting that spin kick, whatever he's doing. Uppercut to Superman punch, both a bit short. One thing is John's having problems gauging his distance. Yeah. Even on his range when he's trying to throw out that jab, he's not able to gauge the distance. Oh. I thought for a second there that he wasn't putting a whole lot down on that lead leg. When he gets a chance, he's kind of lifting that off the ground a bit. Yeah, he's definitely favoring that lead leg. Those leg kicks are taking effect. Oh, a nice heavy leg kick of his own. Yawn smart. The way that you slow down someone who's that agile. So again, a lot of showboating by Joe in this first or the second round. Johannes Sagas, final three minutes. Ooh, Joe with a high, high kick, kick that lands and then a jab to follow it up. Again with the jab. Oh! Yes! Always six! And that's exactly what I said is you oh, don't believe You don't do that kind of stuff. Ends up getting paid for it. And Sagas just waited, waited, waited. Wow. That kick, he set it up by just waiting for Joe to do something. And then there was some viciousness in the ground and pound that followed. Yeah, he definitely did come after him with a lot of anger, and it was probably the showboating. Yeah. But the thing behind it is this one is, look, you, you don't stop fighting until the referee stops you. That's what you're told. That's the way it is, you know. And, and it, it's always, for me especially, it, it's sad when I see somebody that I've coached that takes a knockout like that, you know, personally. It, it, it doesn't make me feel very well to see. After 20 seconds of the third round, we have your winner in the... Fight with your hands down. Or... Oh, oh, nice overhand right there. Oh, nice spin pick. Oh, we're getting a bit more out of it. Pull it up. Again with the, or the second round. Fighting with your hands down. Oh, oh, nice overhand right there. Oh, nice spin pick. Oh, Follow it up again with the or the second round. Jeff. Oh! Yes! Always! Oh, Jeff. Oh! Yes! Third corner. Johansson! And there, folks, your new DCMMA featherweight champion, amateur. CFMMA. He was uh, in trouble early in that first round, was able to weather the storm, came out and had a very competitive second round, and that third round just took advantage of... Uh, Xin kính chúc Đại Gia Đình một ngày bình an. Cảm ơn.